This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us. New tonight, Sarasota Police investigating a suspicious social media post. The Sarasota County School District sent out a robocall this evening warning parents about a possible threat at Sarasota High School tomorrow. A student reported seeing a message on Snapchat that included a threat towards the school. Police were able to locate the individual who posted that message on Snapchat. Detectives spoke to the young girl and her parents, and they say that they have no information to support any type of threat to the school. Additional law enforcement officers will be on campus tomorrow as a safety precaution. This threat comes only a week after a student brought a gun on a Sarasota County school bus, causing six schools to go into lockdown. Law enforcement searching parts of Sarasota today as the hunt for a missing teen continues. 14-year-old Jabez Spann has been missing since September 4th when he was last seen playing near his grandmother's home in Sarasota. The FBI, Sarasota Police and other law enforcement officials spent the day going around parts of the Newtown community as well as North Water Tower Park. Law enforcement spoke with people who live in those neighborhoods to try to get helpful tips in finding Spann. There is currently a $25,000 reward being offered for information that leads authorities to the missing teen. It's vital. Um, it's, you know, we're at this point, we're looking for any information we can get, get our hands on to help point us in the right direction. Since this is an ongoing investigation, Sarasota police say they cannot release any information on whether they found anything today that will help with their investigation. If you have any information regarding Jabez Spann's whereabouts, you're being asked to contact authorities immediately. Tampa police releasing a new video today in hopes of gaining help from the community as the look as they look to identify a person of interest in a series of murders in a Tampa neighborhood. The video shows the person of interest walking on a street very close to where the first homicide happened and near the first where the first victim was shot. The individual appears to be looking at a phone and then walking towards the scene before running away later. At this time, police say they are not saying that this person is a suspect, but it is likely that they saw or heard something that could be the key to solving these murders. Two dozen animals just arrived at a Bradenton animal shelter this evening after being displaced by Hurricane Maria. ABC 7's Rick Adams has more on the dogs and cats that have been rescued at Nate's Honor Animal Rescue. Well, a variety of dogs and cats are here now following a very long journey, and when they're ready, they will be made available for adoption. One by one, the crew at Nate's Honor Animal Rescue brought the 24 animals into their temporary home, an isolation barn at the shelter. 16 dogs, half of them pups, and eight cats displaced by Hurricane Maria made the long journey from St. Croix to Bradenton. We're very excited to, to see them and, and to care for them and to make sure that what they've been through is is forgotten as quickly as possible. For at least the next two weeks, these animals will receive lots of attention and lots of TLC, making sure they are in good health and ready to be adopted. We have an, an AM and a PM shift that will be feeding, cleaning, medicating, um, giving love. A total of 51 homeless dogs and cats were taken to three animal shelters in Florida Thursday, including Nate's Honor Animal Rescue. Prior to their journey, they were cared for by the ASPCA and transported to Florida by Wings of Rescue. They look like they're in good condition. All of the animals that we're taking are owner surrenders, so they were people that lost their homes who could no longer care for their animals. So they, you know, were well cared for. They're not in rough shape. And for more information on when these dogs and cats will be made available for adoption, you can log on to our website at mysuncoast.com. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Rick. The Bahi Hut in Sarasota is undergoing major renovations. During that time, the business has hired a local carver to create art from the trees they're cutting down. Jeff Chunard is known across the Sun Coast for his tiki's driftwood carvings and oceanic art. The Bahi Hut wants to display his arc, his work in their bar once they reopen. These pieces back behind me are actually trees we cut down in the parking lot there, Washingtonian Palm. And uh, so they're actually going to have tiki's made from the trees we cut down in the parking lot. The artist says the tiki's being made are Marquesan tiki's, which you would find on islands like Taiwan. 
Well, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for a look at your first alert forecast. Bob? The Bai Hai Hut that is legendary here along the Sun Coast. I tell you that uh, they're getting those uh, nice uh, carvings right there. I want to show you this picture. This is the current conditions. We're not going to show you those quite yet, but this is the moon that you see just over the tidal bar there. There's a the reflection. What a beautiful shot if you're along the area beaches here, uh, seeing the clear skies and allowing that moonlight to glow and uh, glisten right off uh, the rather calm seas. 60 right now. We have clear skies. The dew point is coming up. It was in the 30s earlier now into the mid 40s to upper 40s. The humidity at 62%. Winds are out of the east at 3 and the pressure rising 30.06 inches. Uh, current temperatures though actually cooler tonight right now than they were at this hour last night. 57 degrees uh, as far as the temperature goes in Arcadia. Mayaka City at 58 and the water temperature is cooling now down to 76 degrees. Venice here at 60, Braden in 61, Cortez 62, and Inglewood the same. Lows tonight will be into the low to mid 50s for the most part east of the interstate. Uh, we'll be into the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees if you live on the barrier islands. Uh, 56 at Osprey, Lakewood Ranch 55, Palmer Ranch we'll see around 57 degrees. 58 in Braden. Anna Maria a little bit warmer because of the water temperature still into the mid 70s there, keeping things a bit cooler in Anna Maria now. The dry air is in place. It's a large area, too, covering much of the Gulf of Mexico, but things are going to get a little interesting as this moisture starts to move in and takes over some of that dry air. We'll talk about this tropical system coming up in a few minutes. Jacqueline? All right, thank you, Bob. Today, Governor Rick Scott directed the Florida Department of Transportation to begin finding ways to increase fuel capacity during emergencies like hurricanes. The governor says he wants to be sure that families and visitors have the resources they need to safely prepare and evacuate during times of emergencies. Last month, 6.8 million Floridians evacuated in preparation for Hurricane Irma, the lar largest evacuation in U.S. history. Scott says increasing the availability of fuel for evacuations at Florida gas stations should be a top priority. A Florida prosecutor is seeking the death penalty after losing a legal battle with the governor over her previous blanket policy against executions. State Attorney Aramis Ayala's spokeswoman confirmed today that a seven-member panel of prosecutors unanimously agreed that the death penalty should be sought for Ayala's case. Ayala previously announced that she would stop seeking the death penalty altogether. Governor Scott then reassigned her death penalty eligible cases to another state prosecutor. Straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your first alert forecast. Plus, plans for President Trump's promised border wall revealed today. And 25 years later, classified files related to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy have now been released. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half. Nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. Enjoy fine wine, craft beer, and delicious foods, all while supporting a great cause at the 16th Annual Suncoast Food and Wine Festival presented by Publix, Saturday, November 11th, from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Sarasota Polo Club. Taste wines from around the world and sample cuisine from the area's finest restaurants. All proceeds benefit a variety of local charities and Rotary Club projects. For tickets and information, visit suncoastfoodandwinefest.com. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. 
I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. a pretty nice weekend. Yeah, decent in the uh, Saturday morning, okay. Saturday evening, and now we are going to see a chance for showers and storms. Obviously, the rain chances are still staying high, right. uh, but a little bit more so down to our south due to this tropical system. There's still a question questions out as to when it's going to make that turn to the northeast. Okay. So we won't totally write it off, but I think uh, we'll keep an eye on it. It's better news for us so over South Florida could get a lot more rain than we will. Here's what's going on. A beautiful sunset tonight. The Van Wazel webcam showing uh, beautiful, clear conditions out there today, making for a delightful sunset. You can see some of the uh, clear blue skies out there turn into a gorgeous color uh, right there, pinks and oranges. And I tell you, we are looking at uh, another nice photo sent in, too. Get a look at this one. This is right by my old house on Siesta Key. Drew sending this one in uh, as the sun was going down below the horizon. Off in the distance, you can see an old a pier of sorts where I used to catch a lot of fish. And speaking of fish, we'll be talking a little bit about that in a bit. Temperature right now around the area into the upper 50s to low 60s. The Gulf water temperature has really cooled almost uh, 10 degrees in the last three days. So uh, that's a good sign. That usually means an end to at least hurricane development out in the Gulf of Mexico. There's still that potential down to our south. And if a storm does get brewing, it doesn't have a chance to really strengthen much because the water temperatures are cooler now over the Gulf, which is a good thing. 47, the dew point temperature, we always keep an eye on that number. That usually tells us uh, how cool things are going to get. Yesterday at this time, Orlando was in the upper 30s to low 40s, so uh, the dew points are starting to come up on this easterly wind. With an east wind, has a tendency to bring a little bit more moisture back into play, especially along the east coast of Florida. Lows tonight, showed you this earlier, will be into the mid to upper 50s to low 50s inland. Uh, we are looking at fair skies and uh, looks as though we will see uh, just a slight chance again uh, for some showers and storms on Saturday morning and a little bit better chance uh, later on in the day. Nothing to show you on radar. It's all quiet right now and we'll stay that way through Friday. Football Friday night looks to be really good and it's currently 60 degrees right now. The dew point temperature 47. We have a light wind out of the east at 3 and the high today was below average. Something we haven't been able to say much at all this fall. 83 is our normal uh, high temperature. Low this morning was a chilly 56 well below the average of 65. And as far as rainfall goes, we've had over two inches uh, for so far for the Sarasota Braden Airport. Well, the hourly forecast looks to be pretty chilly to start things off tomorrow morning, mid 50s to upper 50s, right around 60 at the area beaches. And tomorrow's high temperatures will warm to near 80. So we'll be back in the 80s. We'll have a cool start, but a fairly warm finish back to more normal temperatures on and through Saturday. And uh, Sunday we start to cool off again as another cold front comes in. Uh, we're watching this area right now. There's no organization to this uh, particular area, but you'll notice the storms are really starting to flare up tonight. And the uh, National Hurricane Center now gives it a 40% chance of developing. Uh, future cast, I drew this front in here. This is where the front's going to be, and this is where the low is expected to be uh, by uh, late Saturday. You'll see that kind of coming on up and then eventually taking off to the northeast. So it looks like this thing will head off to the northeast uh, before it reaches us. But for the time being, we we'll have to keep a watch on it because uh, some of the models are still kind of confused, as you would expect, uh, with an early going of these uh, storms as uh, they really hasn't really developed quite yet. East winds at 10 knots, turns into 15 later on. Seas running 2 to 3 feet with a light chop out there. Water temperature at 76 and the tides upcoming on your screen with a 444 high tide. Sunrise at 736. Clear, cool, and comfortable. Low of 56 degrees tomorrow. Mostly sunny and a cool start with a warm finish. The extended forecast is calling for nice weather on Saturday morning for the walk. The big walk be making strides and then better chances for showers and storms Saturday evening and into Sunday morning. It cools down for Monday. 
Well, Moat Marine at the aquaculture area there on Fruitville Road had a successful uh, little thing going on for the children there. They gave out fishing rods and uh, Coach Steve Herrick was on hand. Uh, they got a lot of knowledge from some of the area captains and guides learning how to fish and tie knots and uh, be stewards of the environment. They also got a nice goodie bag too, all from Moat Marine, a uh, part of the Snook Shindig that's going on uh, this uh, coming up. And as far as the Mots are concerned, this is Minnesota Operation uh, Troops, uh, helping uh, support troops there. They have a fishing tournament coming up on ne next Friday the 10th. And you see right in the middle there, that's Captain Johnny Walker's daughter, and that's Kelly Dietz, and she puts that on for the troops. Now, as far as Trump goes, well, he wasn't out fishing, I don't think, but uh, this guy was, Captain Alan Roth. Magic fishing, big snook right there. That's a big snook, you're talking huge. Uh, Coach Steve Herrick also with his cousin Jen in town, uh, Lake Tahoe, they're from Lake Tahoe, they were down visiting. And get a look at this, Captain Brian Marcy, this guy catching a nice big, again, spotted sea trout there from Breakwater Charters. Well, the uh, snook shindig, speaking of that, has been changed now to November 3rd and 4th. It starts on 7 p.m. on the 3rd. That's the fishing, in, anyway. It goes until noon on the 4th. The awards dinner is at 5.30 on that evening. And the Coastal Conservation Association banquet tomorrow. That's a big day right there at the Hyatt. A lot of people are already signed up, ready to go. It's always packed full of people, and they do a great thing for the environment and for the uh, waters all across the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic for... Uh, anglers. Yeah, lots of fishing going on right now and, and snowbirds coming down and making That's their right. way too as they're, well. So. They're going to be doing a lot of that. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Bob. And just a reminder, if you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking and local news and see alerts on your phone instantly, make sure to download the ABC7 news app. iPhone and iPad users will need to download the new update. All you have to do is go to the app store and search for WWSB or My Sun Coast. Android users will get that new version downloaded automatically. Well, President Trump making it official, declaring the opioid crisis a public health emergency. It's a step back from the president's repeated commitments to declare opioids a national emergency, but the administration says it is a better way to combat the crisis that kills tens of thousands of Americans each year. ABC's Lana Zak is in Washington with the latest. We can be the generation that ends the opioid epidemic. We can do it. In announcing that the opioid crisis will become an official public health emergency, President Trump invoked the memory of his brother Fred, who suffered from an addiction to alcohol and encouraged his younger brother not to drink. And to this day, I've never had a drink. I learned because of Fred. I learned. And that's what I think is so important. This was an idea that I had where if we can teach young people not to take drugs, just not to take them. The president's public health declaration means top. patients in rural areas can reach doctors and obtain prescriptions to treat addiction by phone or internet. And it lifts bureaucratic red tape, allowing more funding for treatment centers in all 50 states. Back in August, the president made headlines for calling the opioid crisis a national emergency. I'm saying officially right now it is an emergency. It's a national emergency. But at that time, he didn't sign a declaration to make the national emergency designation official. Thank you. That would have immediately made additional new federal funds that are usually reserved for disasters like hurricanes or tornadoes. Some Democrats are arguing that the public health declaration isn't enough. What I would say to the president on that is, show me the money. Now, the White House says that they intend to work with Congress to try and allocate some additional funding because right now the public health emergency designation does not bring with it any additional funds, though it will allow the government to reallocate some grant money. Reporting from Washington, Lana Zak, ABC News. Eight proposed plans for a wall between the U.S. and Mexico debuted today at the border crossing in California. Four companies spent the past month constructing the walls out of concrete and steel. Now the prototype walls stand between 18 and 30 feet high. Officials will spend three months testing each one. Congress has not authorized any new money to build President Trump's pro promised border wall. Those prototypes were funded by Congress, though. $20 million pulled from other places in the Department of Homeland Security's budget. 2,800 documents related to the assassination of President John Kennedy withheld from the public for decades, finally being released tonight. History buffs and cons conspiracy theorists are likely to spend days mulling over the contents. ABC's Brian Clark has more. 
President Trump declassifying nearly 3,000 documents surrounding the Kennedy assassination, yet holding back others for further review because of national security concerns. Those still secret records under review for the next six months. As Mrs. Kennedy. November 22, 1963, President Kennedy and the First Lady arrived in Dallas on the day that would forever change America. The first couple riding through Dealey Plaza in the back seat of a convertible, the top down, the the president an open target for assassin Lee Harvey Oswald. President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas, Texas. A nation in shock, finding it hard to believe that a lone gunman had killed the leader of the free world. Then, two days later, on live television. There is Lee Oswald. He's been shot. Oswald shot and killed himself while in police custody. The improbable sequence of events becoming fodder for speculation and doubt. Assassins need payrolls, schedules, times, orders. It was the film JFK and its fictional plot surrounding a conspiracy to kill Kennedy that, in part, pushed Congress into passing a 1992 law calling for the release of all federal assassination-related records by October 26, 2017. It will be months, maybe years, before all the documents are thoroughly mined, with most looking for an answer to the inevitable question, did Oswald act alone? I would like to think uh, that these documents would be a final answer. Realistically, that's never going to happen. Brian Clark, ABC News, New York. Well, sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Believe it or not, we spent all day on this. I did say there was a lot of blood. <laughs> Tell me everything or I'm not giving you your glasses. <laughs> Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. Did you know that Sarasota County was the first in Florida to be recognized as an age-friendly community? Whether you're 22 or 82, we strive to be the best place to live, work, and play. A community rich with opportunities and things to do for people of all ages. On Saturday, October 28th, we're advancing this movement with a free community event featuring live entertainment and hands-on experiences. You won't want to miss our entire community coming together for an age-friendly festival presented by the Patterson Foundation. Do you need a good laugh? Starting November 1st at the Player Center, everything that can go wrong does go wrong in the smash hit comedy Moon Over Buffalo. This wild Broadway series production shows what happens both on stage and off. Contact the players at 365-2494 or at theplayers.org. The show must go on with Moon Over Buffalo. 
Everyone's buzzing about Suncoast View. I like watching the Suncoast View. I like the Suncoast View. The cooking segments, I love the recipes. The theater segments are terrific. They're just fun. For smart, fun talk in the afternoon, watch Suncoast View, weekdays at 4 on ABC7. Now, sports. In sports news tonight, the Tampa Bay Lightning off to its best start in franchise history and is unbeaten so far this season at home. The Bolts hosting Detroit tonight in Tampa. The Lightning brought home the win 3-2. to two. And one game in high school football tonight, Braden River hosting the Northport Bobcats. The Pirates' high-powered offense was just too much for Northport. They beat the Bobcats tonight 52-14. to And a full schedule of games are set for tomorrow night. You can catch all the highlights on Football Friday Night right here on ABC7. Well, Joe Girardi is out as New York Yankees manager after 10 seasons. Girardi joined the Yankees in 2007 and led the team to a World Series title in 2009, but has fallen short each year since. Girardi led a young squad on a surprising run to the AL Championship Series this season, but he did admit he made a mistake not asking for a replay in Game 2 of the Division Series against Cleveland. New York lost that game, and Girardi was relieved when the Yankees won the next three games to advance before losing to Houston in the AL Championship Series. Well, that's a look at your sports. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers when we come back. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7 where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios.
Well, the Navy has rescued two people and their dogs who were stranded at sea. The couple had been stranded since May while attempting to sail from Hawaii to Tahiti. Apparently, they had engine trouble on May 30th and were trying to make it to land by sailing, but they had gone too far off course. Now, they were discovered 900 miles southeast of Japan by a, Jap by a Taiwanese fishing boat, which contacted the Coast Guard in Guam. Luckily, the rescued dogs and humans were not starving. They had enough water purifiers and a year's worth of food on their vessel. Wow, could you imagine? May 30th, they've been gone since. A long time. Properly prepared, though. That, that uh, says something there, having a year's worth of food. Uh, gotten a little off track there. That yeah. can happen, obviously. And uh, thankfully, everything turned out good. Yeah, thankfully. Right? Yeah. Uh, Weather-wise, good tomorrow. Okay. It should be good for football Friday. Uh, Dwayne and, uh, again, Adam are happy about that. Yeah. And uh, we are, too, because uh, it's been kind of a rainy fall, but not tomorrow night. All right. Thank you so much, Bob, and thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.